Hey everybody, welcome to the Lucky Needle London edition. All right, everybody, so we've been in London here for quite a few days now, and to be honest with you, I'm a little bit disappointed because I haven't been able to find near as many upholstery-related things to explore and to show you guys. And I kind of have a theory on that. I do believe that, one, it's the middle of winter right now, so if there is much of a car culture here, nobody's really coming out outside with their cars. Also, this city, London, is such a densely populated city that usually it seems that it makes more sense to take the public transportation than it does to drive your own car. Um, and I believe that possibly because it is so densely populated and for that fact that most of the upholstery shops have been pushed outside of the city, most of the of fabric warehouses and things like that because there's just not room for it here. And uh, we wanted to try to keep everything that we were doing here in London and not travel outside of the city of London. So we still wanted to take you on one of our cool adventures today. And what we're gonna do is today we're gonna go to London Transport Museum. It's supposed to be a really cool museum. It's all about the history of the transportation industry in London. So hopefully maybe we'll see some cool, you know, old interiors or something like that. But if not, we'll just learn and have a bunch of fun. So in typical London fashion, what we're doing right now is we're walking down to what is known as the tube, which is the same thing as a subway. Um, it's the best way to travel around here we've found. Uh, so we're gonna do that. It's gonna drop us off very close to where we need to be at the transportation museum. So we'll see you when we get there. All right guys, so we're here. You can see it behind us. This is the London Transport Museum. It was just about a 20 minute subway ride and maybe a five, 10 minute walk and we're here. As you saw, there was lots of interesting things on the way to see as well. So we're gonna go inside and check this out now. I'll see you guys in there. So this is really interesting. Behind us we have what is known as a sedan chair. I didn't know anything about these, but apparently back in the 1700s, if you were wealthy enough, you could hire two guys to carry you around inside one of these boxes. I'm assuming this is what they used before horse carriages were really popular and obviously automobiles we didn't have back then as well. So in this room, there's three horse-drawn buses. And back in the 1800s, this is what people used to use to get around town. As you can imagine, it would probably be a pretty bumpy ride. As you can see, they have wooden wheels and not very much suspension on these. So let's go inside. This one, you're actually allowed to go inside. Let's check out what it looks like on the inside.
So behind us, we have what's known as the Route Master Bus. And these buses are the iconic bus that you see in all the old films. They're, they really represent the history of London. Um, these buses are actually super interesting. I didn't know this about this until coming to this museum and reading these. But basically, after World War II, or during World War II, the London Transport Company was actually building airplanes. And then after the war, they took the knowledge that they gained from building and creating airplanes and applied it to this bus. So this bus is actually a monocoque chassis. I had no idea they even made buses in a monocoque chassis. And the entire thing, the whole body is made out of aluminum, which is also really rare for buses that I know of. And, uh, these buses were in service for a long, long time. The first one was put in service in 1959, and they ran all the way until 2005 was the last year that they ran these buses. This one, you can actually go up inside, so we're gonna go check it out and see what's on in this that was really interesting um, kind of a fun little adventure to go on with us all right so now we're gonna head off we're gonna go get some beers at one of the local London pubs um, we're gonna see you guys in the next country all right all right if you like that video and you want to see another one make sure you click to your right here and don't forget about all the courses we have available at the lucky needle click here in the corner to get more information and don't forget to subscribe right here mm -hmm.